We love this. We do have the world and we have the Ace of Wands. We are embracing and saying goodbye to something and we are opening up to a new beginning. Ace of Wands, it's quite passionate. It can be about love. Um, maybe somebody caught your attention or your eye or... Uh, that is an expression that I really love and it's like catching a fever but actually it's catching feelings. <laughs> it really it makes me laugh every time I hear. So it's like catching feelings. Yeah, I don't know. I heard it, you know, but I, you know, English is not my uh, first language. So it's like, okay, we are catching feelings just like the COVID-19 or something. Um, I mean, powerful feeling. Ace of Wands, it's like, I love you and I also want you. Anyway, so we do have the Two of Swords. We are blindfolded in regards to something. We see the passion, but we cannot make a choice just yet. That's the Two of Swords, contemplating. We are contemplating a new beginning. And then you show up with the new vitality. We love this. <coughs> so uh, this deck, I do not read reversals with this deck. Just so you know, you'll see me flipping cards. So, you know, a couple of decks I don't. That's uh, the Druid Tarot and the Psychic Tarot. I don't know. I'm called to do that like this. I don't know. That is no logical explanation. Just the intuition and how I feel. So Pisces, bottom of the deck, eight of pentacles. We are working, making the effort. This is um, kind of taking action and learning something. Oh, we are working to have happy endings to a situation. Well, actually you want an ending of some sort, right? That's the overall energy, working towards happy endings and successful endings, appropriate endings. And we do have the Four of Swords. If it shows up again, we know it's yours. This is in love readings about separation. Um, it is about, I don't want to talk to you for now. It is um, just breathe. So we might have anxiety over an ending, but we are working through it. We are working our emotions a little bit, the mind, the perspective. And we are working towards happy endings. It's like, well, if this is an ending, it has to somehow suit me in some way. Pisces, past energies on your side, the person you are dealing with, and mutual energies. Let's see the current energies on your side, the person you are dealing with, and mutual energies. And let's see the possible outcome. On your side, you get three, so you have a lot coming your way. The person you are dealing with, mutual energies, and honest to God, that, that Ace of Wands is following us through the reading. Ace of Wands, we want a new beginning, endings and new beginnings, and we do have the Two of Swords, um, still refusing to see or contemplating this, thinking about this, but still going through challenging times, and you show up here. Five of Wands, conflicted about this new beginning blindfolded what's going on come on your intuition helps you every time so let's see okay so energies from the past it was a hell of a fight <laughs> let me tell you that we do have the seven of wands we do have choose your battles so this is you standing your ground and saying no you will not come here no i will not come your way or something like that and then we do have the hermit right wisdom that was a fight and then there was wisdom. Don't we all have moments of bits of clarity after, you know, kind of like a good fight, you know, where um, we kind of bent all, all things personal and then it's like, oh, okay, let me sit down and think about it. I believe I messed up kind of energy. Um, might have been a Virgo you, um, you were dealing with and uh, you had to put boundaries guidelines <laughs> just saying <laughs> anyways um but at the end of the day when everything was said and done it was a teaching moment because the hermit is the energy of a teaching moment of a lesson from whatever happened from within yourself the way you manage something you know when everything was said and done we were pretty smart um and we got the, the memo from the universe right um that's the hermit the the light coming from within now, the person you are dealing with, Pisces, they do have Five of Cups. And um, 
they do have the the higher fint. I'm sorry, the marriage card. So you might have been married to this person. They might be your husband, your wife, um, and they miss the commitment. They absolutely miss the commitment. They miss you with the five of cups. This is my I almost died missing you. And this is also an energy of responsibility and guilt is the energy of I shouldn't have and I know it had an impact on, on this marriage, on this commitment. And again, I'm sensing because it is the teaching card, right? It's the lesson card, but lessons from the environment, from the outside world in a situation. I believe they got their um, lesson in the past, whatever happened between the two of you. Most certainly it's an ending. We do have the world as the overall energy. So either we are going towards an ending, either it happened. And on your side, it was a hell of a fight again. And on their side, it's like, oh, finally, I understand something. Oh, yeah. Um, somebody walked away. Mutual energies between the two of you in the past, Pisces. You walked away from this person or they walked away from you. And then it's paired with the Seven of Pentacles. This is the energy of patience, of planning, of waiting. Um, for some of you, maybe you waited a, enough for a long time to walk away and finally it happened. Or they, um, you know, uh, waited for a long time and then it happened kind of a while ago. It does look like seven months, but again, eight months maybe. But and we have double seven, so that's why I'm saying might might be that kind of energy for somebody. Um, yeah, and now we are. This is what we pull from the past, right? The energies of waiting for things to be resolved. Seven of Pentacles is the energy of harvest. Is the energy of the result. Um, following the uh, kind of a separation of some way, right? With a world eight of cups, absolutely. That is distance between you and this person. Um, and it is right now Pisces, we do have the six of wands. So we, we want to win this. I mean, if this is about a fight with the seven of wands, well, we better be good at it and win whatever this is and have the advantage that you want to have, have the leverage that you want to have. And then we do have the judgment. So for some of you, if this is about, uh, an ending and a judgment, a sentence, a decision, we are fighting, you know, the fight of our lives over here um to have whatever this is to your advantage to allow you a new beginning to allow you some financial independence of some way um a better life an exciting life um maybe some of you want to go to school after this we started with the eight of pentacles is the apprenticeship card so um probably you are really focused on i taking it, it's taking no, it's not taking a toll on you because I do love the energy. I do love the enthusiasm that we have as the overall energy. So, but it's, um, it's a lot, you know, um, Pisces, the person you are dealing with, they are going through changes like crazy. We do have the five of pentacles. They feel, um, alone and rejected right now. And we do have the five of wands going through challenging times. And absolutely, this was a hell of a marriage because we have five of cups, five of pentacles, five of wands with the Hierophant card. So we go from a marriage to, um, I don't want to say fundamental changes, but three fives on a table, it's, um, it's like a life being, you know, I don't know if upside down, but close to, you know, big challenges, big changes. And in the midst of it might uh, be going through financial struggles or thinking how to overcome this um, emotional challenges and then some conflict in some way doesn't look basically like a very uh, polite kind of um, fight between you and this person and, I'm, and that is this energy here that that is a lot to lose actually for them for you it's like you know what give me my new beginning we do have the judgment the world and then the ace of wands which is a new beginning so somebody here and i feel it's on your side you are really ready for something new here mutual energy is between the two of you again the energy of separation four of um, swords and the nine of wands the wounded warrior one is at peace one is fighting one is protecting themselves the other one is and the wounded warrior the other one is let me plan and strategize here let me be smart about it kind of complete different kind of vibes between you and this person for now 
um, you know, but uh, we're good. We're good. They might have went into retreat with all this energy. Well, on your side, it's kind of a warrior kind of mode. Seven of Wands is like, please do not approach me because I'm going to bite you kind of energy. And the Six of Wands is like, I am going to win this. Just watch me, you know, kind of energy. I'm going to show you who um, I am or kind of, you know. And we have the judgment and we have the wisdom coming with it. And, um, you know, it's like fighting the good fight. I can understand. But on their side, somebody is um, a little bit suffering, I would say. So Pisces, let's see the outcome. We have the judgment again. And we have the success and growth. Yeah, we are fighting this um, kind of teeth and nails, kind of. But in the same time, it's interesting. We do have the Wheel of Fortune. So for some of you, of course, can be piece, kind of a piece of advice and saying fighting is good. Um, you know, really looking for that final decision and asking for one and doing what has to be done. But also that is a flow of energy that we cannot push or that is, uh, you know, when we, um, when we have to feel the universe vibrating around us, right? So that we don't go out of sync. This is a little bit how it feels. Again, can be a piece of advice for some of you. Um, can be a reminder, you know, at the end of the day, yes, you can do the, make the effort and yes, you can um, have strategies and, and ways because Eight of Wands is a lot of action. Eight of Wands is like, um, you know, having fights on all fronts, kind of, but good fights, right? It's about really uh, a very dynamic energy of projects and you know what, I don't have time for nonsense kind of energy. And, and then we get the major arcana, which usually, you know, in Hebrew readings, it's all about lessons and pieces of advice. So it's like, you know, let's make sure we are in good vibes or we stay in good vibes. Now, the person you are dealing with, nine of pentacles, seven of pentacles, somebody is, of course, single and um, seven of pentacles being patient, waiting for harvest money are on their mind financial independence they are patient about having expectations for some of you because nine of pentacles is the energy of financial independence but with the energy of patience is like they have expectations that whatever judgment is coming out of this will um, allow them some financial independence right and some energies of okay uh finally i feel good and i um you know i'll have um money or stuff now mutual energies or the outcome or the possible oh that's my phone another phone again are you kidding me so mutual energies between you and your person or the outcome is really the nine of cups this is actually wish fulfillment and we do have the eight of pentacles so this this is the energy of both of you working on your wish fulfillment um this is the energy of I will get what I want out of this, you know? I'm not seeing love. We actually have no card of love on the table. We do have the Ace of Wands as a, as a new beginning, as being uh, enthusiastic and having a new vitality, as a continuation of an ending, right? We turn the page and that is something new, but we don't have love um, energies on the table. None, actually. So I'm kind of concerned because if there is no love, what's the point? And maybe Pisces, we need to let go of this connection because you know what? Love ran dry in some way. This is how it feels. I know, I know. I am a little bit harsh maybe. And I don't want to hurt anybody, but these are the energies and you know, I'm not going to lie. So now Pisces. Now let's see what the universe guides us to do. It's interesting the level of disconnection that we have here, but um, you know, maybe we are waiting on a final decision of some sort. So, so let's see. We need to be creative. Are you kidding me? This, this one is on you Pisces and it says surrender to creativity. So let your imagination soar. Stay open to all creative ideas about how to pursue a dream or solve a problem. 
So if this is about a judgment, a separation, ending, divorce, stuff like this, well, how about we think outside the box? We do have surrender stress. So it, it says take a few take a few deep breaths and exhale the tension you've built up in your body. Let the stress go as you come back to your center. We need to get grounded, right? And centered again. I don't know. Are you in your head? We do have one, so you might have really actually fire energy in you. And we do have a lot of major arcana, so we might need a little bit of guidance there. Um, whatever that guidance is, I, I hope it's going to be a good one. And we do have surrender to success. Well, we have success cards twice, actually. So I know success is coming your way. But it says you are ready to experience abundance. Don't look back at previous roadblocks or difficulties. Leap it into an exciting new world of possibilities. And it's interesting, Pisces, because we do have the world and the ace of wands, which is new, right? New vitality. And it says a new world of possibilities. So somebody here will have soon a new world of possibilities. We do have surrender to silence. In quiet meditation and contemplation, let go and enter the stillness within. Silence can heal and replenish you. We so love this. And you know what? Let's have another guardian. Um, we'll have just one guardian angel card. Just one. And see what else we need to know or what else we are guided to do. We do have the hangman seeing clearly so it's like finally you see things clearly um Pisces it's time to view things from a different perspective I just love this this is the distance right instead of having your nose um you know close to the tree well why, why don't we step back a bit so you have the blessed gift to see past the current situation and envision amazing possibilities don't worry, the pause in momentum while you rethink your plan won't last. Embrace your uniqueness and allow it to serve you. Amazing, just amazing. Your beginning spices. Uh, I know, maybe you were hoping, um, you know, to hear about reconciliation, but there is no energy whatsoever in this one. But a new world of possibilities, actually. So, Pisces, you know I love you, right? You know I wish you nothing but the best. As always, please let me know what you think. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe and come see me next time. Love you. Take care.